There are times I attempt to make video to explain to the species so they can understand what's going on. But I found that the species is usually a little too uh, distracted by other stories to actually listen to what I'm saying. So if you're watching this video, I'm hoping that you're one of the few who's been paying attention to Captain Sweep and my assessment of reality. Because that's what's going on right now. There's this great deal of confusion as to the assessment of what is going on. Humans like that question, what is going on? And this is what I think about it. That's what I think about it. It's not that comes from my nose. It's what I think of other people's opinions of what is going on. Because from what I can tell, most people are distracted by the mis misinformation campaigns of the freaking nutballs. I've been trying to tell you guys about the freaking nutballs, but I just sense that you don't listen. You're in your own life. You're doing your own thing. You don't want to hear about some conspiracy theory. Uh, but the problem is there's a little voice in the back of your head that's going, something's really fucked here. You don't know what it is. They don't know what it is. And the whole world is starting to disintegrate into total and utter confusion. And the reason is that we've lost the plot. We've lost the focus. We've lost the story. We've lost the ability to create our own stories. Now this has been going on for hundreds of years. These motherfuckers, whoever the fuck they are, these freaking nutballs, have crafted media, have crafted the stories, have crafted history in such a way that they can get away with what they're doing right now with this pandemic. When I listen to these government officials, I almost want to throw up. The lies that they put forward, the Parts of the process they do not focus upon, such as tests and how the tests don't even come close to testing what they're trying to test. That alone should be enough for you, the viewing audience, to go, hmm, maybe things aren't quite like they are, are, are saying. You know, maybe things are I'm going the way. I, 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 I don't know what's going on. So every human being has at this time to ask themselves a simple question. The question is, why are you here? Why are you here in this human form right now, 3D, 21st century Earth? Why are you here? Because if you don't know why you're here, you're not, you haven't asked the fundamental spiritual question. I mean, you're probably like me. You're sitting at home. You're looking at a laptop. You're going, what am I going to do with my life? What am I going to do with this? I've got, like, I don't know, 80 to 90 years, maybe. Are you asking yourself this question? You see, old people, 
which I am now one of them. Sort of sit back and watch lock. And they, they can see what's happening. And they, they know why things are happening the way they are. But they don't tell the younger people. Younger people are all running around doing their things. They don't listen to the old people. The old people are watching the younger people going, oh, motherfuckers. They don't listen to me anyway, so I'm not going to tell them anything. So there's this generation gap. There's this gap of knowledge between the older people who were around before computers who know a lot of shit and the younger people who grew up on computers who think they know a lot of shit actually know a lot of shit about computers compared to the older people, but don't know a lot about life, if you ask me. So you got this gap and it's growing, right? Like if you go to some old person who's never really touched a computer, they know screw all about the computer. And right now the computer is running the world, right? I mean, you got to know how to use your laptop, know how to use your phone, know how to use whatever you're doing to even do anything these days. But some of these old motherfuckers, they know tons of shit, but they don't know the computer. And then you got all these schools and a bunch of other older motherfuckers, but what do they know? They've just gone to college, government indoctrinated school systems. Who can you trust for real knowledge? Who can you trust that someone is going to tell you something that is actually useful and relevant and something that you actually should know? And my guess is there aren't many around that you do trust. I started talking to the whole species, but now we'll talk to the young whippersnappers, if you don't mind. Because the old fuckers, they just don't get it. I mean, they're about to go. They're about to die. They got their house. They lived their life. They've gone through whatever they went through, and now they're about to die, right? That's how most young people view these young these older people. The old people are going, oh, man, I went through all that shit and I'm about to die. And what am I going to do? Stuck in this old age home. They're checking on out, right? And some of them live great lives. Some of them hardly lived at all. But all of them have been seeing what has been occurring. And that's the complete transformation of the species because of the technology. And we can't escape that fact. There's this news and all of these people talking. You might, you might have noticed there's a lot of people talking these days. They talk and they talk and they talk and they talk about this and they talk about that. But are they really saying anything? Are they really getting to the truth of the matter? Do you trust them? You see, I discovered something. And in the process of dis discovering something, I realized that most people don't know squat about spirituality. They have no idea about what a real pursuit of truth is. Because they, they went to a church, they allowed a priest to tell them the way things were, or they just didn't give a fuck about any type of religious anything. Didn't believe in God. And even if they believed in God, didn't really do much about it. Thought, okay, well, there might be a God, but I'm just going to live my life. If you're going to live a spiritual life, there, there's a certain focus of attention that has to take place. And if you don't have that focus of attention, you, you are never going to make any progress. You see, you got to figure out why you're here. Back to the first question, you know, why am I here? And if, if you're, if you figure it out that you're here to make spiritual progress, now you're onto something. 
But if you haven't figured that part out, if you're still lost in the samsara, if you're still lost in the maya, if you're lost in illusion, if you're lost in all the distractions that keep the mind focused elsewhere. See, there's kind of like this force. We can call it the nemesis program. Its job is to distract you away from the real reason you're here. It's like there's a game going on and whether it's God and the devil or the good force and the bad force, good and evil, whatever it is, there's this war on this planet seemingly all the time between, let's say, good and evil. And this is like a, a polarity. These are dualities, but they exist in the mind. And when you reach a, a unity consciousness, this goes away. But for most of you motherfuckers, you're trapped in this duality of opposites. And we, we, we go to one side and say the other side's wrong. And then we jump sides. It, it's, it's always a matter of perspective. And it's a matter of who's where, when, and what the context is and what depends upon who. But humans are just a bunch of dumb motherfuckers doing stupid things most of the time. And then they make movies about it to show how stupid everybody was. But that isn't really what life is about, is it? How much love do you feel right now in this moment for you? How much do you love yourself? When you look in the mirror and you just look at yourself, but you go, I love you. You're, you're an amazing being. I think you're one of the greatest people I know. Do you ever do that? Do you ever look in the mirror, talk to yourself and, and say good things about yourself? See the good things in yourself. See how beautiful you look. See how beautiful you sound. Do you do that? Do you love yourself? Because if you get to this age, you've made a lot of mistakes. Life didn't quite go the way you thought. And at some point you realize you're not the man that you thought you were going to become. You realize that there's a lot of weaknesses within yourself and you try to hide them, but everyone sees them anyway. At some point you just have to come to some sort of acceptance of yourself as being a little mundane, kind of average, and you're not going to be the superhero in your own story. You're not going to be the main player, the Indiana Jones, the Jedi Knight, the person who saves the day. You're just a puny little human who barely got through anything. And you're soon to die. And no one gives a fuck really for why you ever lived. Huh? Is that how you want to go out? Because how you see yourself has a huge impact on how other people see you and how your life's going to be. And for most of us, we've been sort of filled with so much bullshit that at some point we gave up. You gave up. You gave up on yourself. You gave up on being the best that you could be. And you allowed yourself to become very mediocre. And you know what I'm talking about. Because every human being has to come to that point of self-reflection where you ask yourself, did you do what was necessary to get what you wanted? And most of us, we didn't. We weren't willing to do what was necessary. And because of that, we entered a life of mediocrity. Oh, I know I'm not being polite. I'm not being very nice. Too bad, right? But each of us has to come to our own sense of self-assessment. And now in the middle of this 
scamdemic, you are being herded into this life that you wouldn't want your grandkids to be in at all. But if you don't do something now, in a few generations, the human race is like toast. We're just gonna be a bunch of robots controlled by some weird fucking psychos in some castle, pressing buttons and making shit happen that affects millions of lives. And most of the people will just be slaves, never knowing that they were fucked by our generation right now. You have to really look deeper into this mask thing. Why do they want us to wear masks? Why do they want us to socially distance? Why do they not want us to gather in numbers? This is very important to look at. And if you, you use the reasons which they give you, you're just a dumb drone. You have to go behind the curtains. You have to understand the grand strategy that you're in right now. You are in an end game. You are in the finish of hundreds of years of planning by a small group of people that I call the freaking nutballs. And you can call whatever you want if you do your research and go look at them. But in my mind, if you don't understand what they're doing, then basically you're just a drone slave. I know, I know, I know, no one likes to be called a drone slave. Don't insult your audience is the one rule that I gave myself as a public speaker and maybe that's why I just don't do so well. If you tell people the truth, most people can't handle it and most people never will. People listen way better when you're dead. So I figure you'll be seeing this when I'm dead. And that's when I figure most of my work will come into the world because most you dumb motherfuckers have no idea what spiritual evolution really is. Until you really aim your compass at that, until you really surrender to the big guy, until you kind of go, I am in, but you're not quite sure what you're in to. But you got to surrender to the force. You know what I mean? I know you're not going to listen because most of you are too obsessed with sex. That's the problem is we want to fuck, right? We really want to fuck a lot. We may or may not be having the sex we want. And if we don't have the sex we want, we're obsessing about it. We're having the sex we want. We're happy human beings. But how many people talk about it? How many people really talk about their sexual lives? Sometimes you press wrong button and you think something's happening and it ain't, or you think something ain't happening and it is. And that can be a bit of a problem, right? Well, that's just life. I just wanna see if I can get through to you because I don't see other people talking about stuff the way I talk about it. But I, I don't know. I think people are afraid. People are afraid to come to their own conclusions that they're being fucked all the time. Because if you're being fucked all the time, unless you're enjoying it, I don't know. I don't think I should even try to tell you motherfuckers anything. Nobody's listening, sharing, doing anything. Why should I tell you squat? The truth is you're being so scammed by a small group of people on this planet 
that just are milking, milking the wealth out every 20 years through their banking usury scams. And they create mayhem to cover their tracks. And they own all the corporate media. And they're always just playing people against each other. And you motherfuckers are just too stupid to see it. That can be very depressing.